Mark from Talus V2 here. I like to build and create things so it stands to reason my drum set would be no different. Back in the day, I started in Talus playing a large eight piece Ludwig drum set. Uh, then I added two rotor toms above the rack toms. Rack systems were just coming into vogue in the 80s, so I decided to make one and uh, that would carry the three rack toms, five rotor toms, and two cymbals um, all in one system that could be dropped in over top of the bass drums. So my kit went from eight drums to 13. I found a key clamp distributor in Buffalo and went to their warehouse. I picked up uh, modular clamps, inch and a half black steel pipe, and uh, all I needed to make a curved rack system. I was completely surprised after a break in touring that the band and crew had the system chrome plated for me. It looked awesome. After Talus broke up in 86, I sold the kit and played my acoustic guitar for a while. Sometime in 2000, my nephew decided to play guitar, so he gave me his old drum set. And with the advent of computers, I purchased an interface and a four-track recorder and started recording songs that I had been working on for 20 years or so. Having made quite a few repairs on that old kit, I tried my hand at drum making and created a maple stave snare drum. I used that drum in, in the 2017 show and the 2019 tour. Once I discovered online recording, I decided to upgrade my kit. So uh, the first thing I purchased was a Yamaha kick drum. Then uh, I ordered multiple rotor toms from multiple eBay vendors. Sizes ranging from 8 to 18. Knowing that some type of system would have to be created to mount all of this, I went back to that modular clamp system. I was overseeing a college auditorium renovation, so I picked up some of the discarded aluminum tubing and used that to create a system for five rotor toms ranging from 10 inches to 18 inches. I used a fork tree in my backyard to bend the tubing. That served me many years and hundreds of recordings until 2017. When Talus V2 decided to reunite for one show, my first thought was to buy a drum set but that was quickly replaced by a desire to make something unique just for that show. And nobody uses rotor toms today, so I decided to modify my rack system. I purchased more rotor toms, some additional cymbals, and some top of the line DW hardware. <laughs> After the tour, there was talk of an album and possibly some additional touring, so I decided to modify the Talus kit once again. Drawn to the look and the efficiency of the new Stealth rack systems, I modified in that direction. I purchased more tubing, more fittings, more, more rotor toms, more cymbals, more hardware, and created the Stealth rack system. I took apart the DW hardware that I had and uh, essentially eliminated all of the tripods uh, so that there's no tripods on the system. At the same time, reducing the kit's stage footprint to about four foot by six feet. This was the configuration used for recording Talus 1985. Ever-changing, I've since added an 18-inch marching bass drum and a suspended, like a suspended floor tom on my left-hand side. 
I've also built several stave snare drums in teak and walnut, as well as a rolling platform to maneuver it around my small little studio. And I can't believe I didn't do that a long time ago. So much easier to work on the drums. While adjustable, this kit is unique to me, though I'm sure a reasonable facsimile could be made uh, purchasing the hardware that's available today from drum manufacturers. But that wouldn't be nearly as much fun. <laughs>